Hello and welcome to Rick's Kits. As you can see on the desk we have the Heavenly Hearse from Johan or Johan. Um, this kit is 125th scale and can be built in two options. You have the Heavenly Hearse on the front there which is a wild surf party machine um, painted in a lilac. Or you can build it as box stock, which is basically a standard hearse. That would creep me out, I think, having a hearse sitting on my side. Um, I'm going to go with the custom option, frankly, because I don't want death sitting on my, uh, on my shelf. So with the custom option what you get is a set of scuba tanks, uh, two surfboards, some beach lights, roof rack for your surfboards, and a hoot scoop to go on the body. Uh, also there is, uh, should be a complete set of decals, uh, unfortunately in this kit those decals don't exist anyway. We've been, I don't know, either lost or given away by, by my father when he had this kit. Let's get this box open. Okay, so off the bat we have loose glazing in the top and at the side. It's seen better days by the look of it. I have had a look in this kit before, so I know what's here and what's not. Yeah, it's a little bit scratched, but I'm sure I can get that polished out somehow. And then we can actually see, let's get the instructions out of here. So yeah, this is what's in the box. So he decided he was going to build it box box. Let me put the box to one side for a sec. Uh, so he was going with the book stock black. Um, I guess he didn't like his vinyl roof for some reason and started stripping it back. And uh, on it. There's no, en no engine been completed on it or anything yet. I'll get that off in a sec. He's got a fun, like a tan interior inside. Um, looks like it's all brush painted, so you have to try and strip all this back. Or perhaps put a, do a wet sand on it maybe. And then prime over the top, pink. Uh, so there's a little bit of work to do, definitely on that. Like I said, I don't want Dr. Death sitting on my shelf, so I'll deal with that. I'll deal with that later, don't play with that. So yeah, continuing in the box, you've got two chrome trees, not being used. Uh, two types of custom custom wheels. You've got to put the roof rack together. Um, what have you got here? Oh, okay, the standard wheels are there. There's the other custom wheels. A couple of custom pipes. What tips of pipes? Hood ornament there. Uh, I'm not quite sure what they are. Could be mirrors. Not sure what that is. Looks like some oh. a blower with a couple of carburetors, maybe. That's my guy. I don't much about cars, as I've said before. Um, there might be two scuba tanks in here. See what else have we got? 
three three blacks through. Well, there's a piece on the end here. I'm not sure what that is. We'll find out at some other point. Um, I'm assuming this is one of the later, later of the, uh, molds of the you know, hand kits before they disappear because we seem to have a lot of flash on this sprue. Um, looks like lower suspension, air cleaners, battery, firewall. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that is. Radiator. And two surfboards. Bit dirty. Yep, two scoop tanks. Curtains for the hearse. Nice. Not sure what they are, but they could be. Alright, oh, okay, so that's the, they go on the surfboard. Right, so that looks, that looks like a back panel for the door. There is part of the door. There's another part of the door. Uh, front seat. Dashboard. Another pre-painted piece of sprue. Well, that's got to be the radiator hose. Don't know what they may be something to do with the wheel. Um, not sure this was part of the kit originally. That looks like something that comes out of a truck kit. You can shove that one to one side. Now these are definitely from this kit. It's the rear tail light lenses. You'll notice there's no bumper or anything in here. That's because I've already pulled that out. And that's in some bleach to get the chrome off. Um, chrome was scratched up, so it's probably better that way. <laughs> All tyres. Nice to see there's no decayed tyres. Solid Johan tyres. Um, potentially dual option, I would say. No, no manufacturing marks. Not white walls either, so I'm not sure if these were original to this kit. I might paint the white walls, I don't know. It's, it's a custom job. Uh, various parts to the engine. Good scoop. Dividing panel. Okay, I'm not sure what those are, but they, oh, they might be part of those lamps that go on the side. I've got two steering wheels in here. Uh, one of them looks like it's broken. Yeah, the other half's in there. And then we've got a started or past, doesn't it? Actually, no, it's not glued, so partially started. So we've got stuff to work with. Looks like most of it's complete. I'll stop it here for the moment, we'll get back to you and hopefully we'll have this body stripped, if not I'm going to have to wet sand it and okay, get back to you when I'm done. Here we are back, um, I put the body through some stripping, um, basically it didn't do anything. I don't know what paint my father used on this originally. But it wasn't something that could be easily stripped, that's for sure. So I wet sanded down as best I could, got out as many of the imperfections as I could, or what I thought I could. 
Uh, I do have a couple of, looks like runs from where it was painted before. So those I'll have to uh, try and wet sand down again. There's a little bit of an issue just here. I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, that looks like it's going to, it will need sanding down. But other than that, the body's come out not too bad. I've given it a... <clears throat> Tell me a surface primer in grey. Um, I don't think this is the fine one. I think it might be the, like a mediums. But done the trick we've got we've got to go over it with a little bit of sandpaper because it feels a bit a bit rough in this panel here everywhere else it's quite actually it feels a bit a bit rough on here so I'll have to go over with some fine sand grit but yeah that's almost ready for the paint in that body. Pleased with that. You can still see all the detail on there. So none of it was lost with the heavy enamels from back in the 80s. Maybe a little bit up here, but not too much. Nothing that's horrendously noticeable. Uh, so while I did that, I also done the interior, um, done the hood, done the rear tailgate and the front bench seat, and the back panel, and the rear panel of the door. So that's done. Um, so the next thing for me to do then is to crack on and start building that engine. Okay, so <coughs> this is what I've done. Obviously I haven't glued the, um, the pegs on the end. They're there holding stuff in place. This is Andy Orange. The Y looks not my thing. Um, that's three, maybe four coats of that in shot. I'll play to uh, candy orange and um, goes down quite nicely. Um, bit of an issue on here, yeah, it's nice and glossy. Bit of an issue with the bonnet, unfortunately, I had some marks come up on the bonnet around midway, somewhere around here, and that so that's off stripping at the moment. Didn't want to uh, put that back on there because it, it looked horrible, but yeah, it's going down quite nicely. Uh, I like the color, should have been actually, should have been either candy red or blue, I think would have looked better. Uh, plans for the inside because orange is um, potentially a it's in the middle colour isn't it orange that's a yellow and red on the old spectrum so <coughs> excuse me so when you look at um, on the red spectrum and you look down the orange spectrum which is up here you've got now this is working on I suppose with figures and things like that so we've got tints, tones and shades so you'd shade with a brown going with a slight greeny orange and then a lighter orange that's in as far as like interiors go or where the spectrum runs uh, its triad would be blue or blue green. So an interior of blue 
maybe. Maybe it's the orange. Or blue green. I was thinking more purple. Uh, perhaps not. So we've got that. And we have got an orange orange here. Not sure what these values are on the on the back of here, but I was on that. So is this a red orange? Like a red orange, isn't it? It's definitely going to be a, a blue or a blue green for an interior. So I need to find a colour for that, really. So these do come in handy for um, colour selection. Makes it easier. Some instances. Right, and also I've done. Chassis. Uh, that's been sprayed with satin black. Uh, let's say Tamiya color. TS thirty no TS twenty nine. Tamiya. There's a the label. TS twenty nine. There you go. Satin. Oh, it's satin gloss. Which is the equivalent of um, equivalent of semi semi gloss black X eighteen. Oh, yeah, I have a rattle can. Okay, so that's where we're at to. Um, I will start the engine. I've got to sort out the bonnet or the hood and uh, see where we go for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you, my subscribers, for your valued, very valued subscription. Um, we'll close this one off and there will be a part two. At a later date. Thank you for watching. If you're not a subscriber and you're watching this video, subscribe doesn't cost you anything. And it helps with the YouTube algorithm, as they say. Not quite sure why or how, but that's the way it is. If you like the video, press the like button. If you don't like the video, press the dislike button. Uh, but happy modeling. See you again. Bye for now.